You won't be surprised to know that I, I uh, have a very different view about the way things that should go than, than uh, they're going with the new administration and the legislature in many ways. I think it's generally better for immediate ex-governors to be seen and not heard. And so I, I obviously have a political role, but my political role is really supporting the president um, and working on his agenda. So I'm trying to, you know, basically not tinker around in Virginia politics. I. I I have some serious questions about the fiscal responsibility of some of the steps being taken. Um, I don't think cuts to education and the health care safety net are a good idea ever, particularly in this economy. I don't want to roll back protections for uh, employees in terms of discrimination or send a signal that we don't care about it. Um, and I think that, you know, the notion of, well, we're going to suggest that we're going to push back on a health care bill that will do a lot of good for hundreds of thousands of Virginians. It's like you just got to go out and see how people are living and you'll realize that this bill is a very good thing. But, but again, I'm really focused on something different now, which is the president asked me to do this job to be his advocate and also to be, you know, a sounding board for him. So I talk to people all over the United States and then he and I communicate pretty often and I share with him, you know, what, what folks are saying to try to always help, you know, uh, him in any way I can. So I'm kind of leaving Virginia uh, politics to the elected officials of Virginia and my job now is to support and advocate for the president.